What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Cannon. And yo, today I just, I know I'm a funny guy. Y'all laugh at my shit. Like, I play around a lot. But today I want to hit on something. Just a topic, real quick. That's like, been like on my chest. Because I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm so fucking tired of everybody just, just sitting in this brainwashed circle. And it's crazy. Like, you look around in life. And like everybody's brainwashed, whether it's with your religion, whether it's with, you know, how your parents raised you to be strict, whether it's, you know, something it's, 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 it's always something. And I'm not necessarily saying that everything is bad, but when you try to hop in something real like fitness, you know how when you hop into fitness and people be like, I fucking love fitness because you can't fake this shit, right? You can't fake big ass arms. No matter if you're on steroids or not, you got to put in work. You can't fake shredded abs, steroids or not, you gotta put in work, right? I'm 100% natural, that ain't what this shit about. This is about this bullshit that's been going on in the fitness industry, bro. First and foremost, and yeah, hell yeah, we talking about shreds. But first and foremost, I'm not, I'm not defending motherfuckers scamming people. You know what I'm saying? Saying you gonna win this, they win, they don't know where the fuck they prize at. That's fucking bullshit. That's not what I'm talking about, right? Here's what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm just going to use these examples, right? When you see somebody like Bradley Martin, who is my favorite, more than Chris Jones, more than anybody, he is my favorite fitness personality YouTuber person out because he's so fucking diverse, jacked, great physique, um, can do Olympic lifting, strength training. And bodybuilding, who else is doing that? You know what I'm saying? And his brand is dope, all that. But here's something I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say. And he's not the only one. These guys are like calling out these guys for like photoshopping their pictures or whatever. They're calling out these guys for like not being real. They're calling out these guys for being for money before they're for people. And that's some bullshit. Let me tell you why. Motherfucker, any of these people calling these guys out, any of these people calling out Devin Physique and Joey Swole, this, that, and the other, any of these people who are like well off and calling these people out, do you think they would be into fitness if they were broke doing it? I'm not talking about the grind on the way there where people go, well, they were broke when they were grinding to get there. No, the motivation was to get there. The motivation was to make more money and they're making more money now, you're calling out somebody who's making money as well just in a way that you don't agree with. And the reason I said that this is brainwashing is because it's like this. You don't even think about these things when you hear these good, because they make good points, bro. They make, like Bradley Martin made some really good points. That's the part I want to talk about, the photoshopping, the touching up of pictures. I don't like Devin Physique. I don't necessarily like the, the brand of Shreds. But they're not doing anything that hasn't been done your whole life. Any magazine you've ever looked at in your entire life, 90 something percent of them are edited. You can go grab an ESPN freaking magazine and LeBron James can be sitting there with a basketball. There's some kind of edit on that hoe. All right? And past Photoshop and Adobe Games and this, that, and the other. Let's talk about angles and, and shadows and lighting and shit like that. Do you have any idea how much lighting and angles can change a picture? Way more than Photoshop. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. When you use Photoshop, right, there's only a certain level you can get to before motherfuckers start looking like a bubble. You know what I'm saying? That you can only make yourself look so big until you start to look like, oh, X, Y, he, he, this guy definitely Photoshopped that picture. Motherfucker, when you use angles, you can, I can out-angle Phil Heath and make myself look bigger than Phil Heath. We all know I'm not bigger than Phil Heath. I'm 200 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So, angles, and then you want to talk about shadows and lighting and this and that and the other? That is unlimited. You can, you, have you, and I'm not, I'm not knocking anybody, but have you seen the online coach, how he edit his videos? Like, you can see every single, like, rip and shred up in them jokers, bruh. That's because that's not Photoshop, Adobe Games or whatever, but that's definitely editing that makes a person look totally different. One thing you always hear when you go to these expos, you hear these guys say this 24-7, bruh. They'll be like, 
Damn, you look a lot bigger in real life. Yeah, everybody looks bigger in real life. But one thing you never hear, one thing you never hear, you look a lot leaner in real life. You don't never hear nobody say they look a lot leaner in real life because they don't. Because every picture you see of them is photoshopped or edited in a way. So, motherfucker, he made his legs look like an inch bigger, his his traps like bigger, like his body looked more slender. Okay, okay. Then if you're mad at him for doing that shit, then be mad at every magazine you've ever bought or ever seen because they all do it. Have you ever seen the fucking videos of how they make these female models? Um, these little skinny hoes that don't lift at all look like they got ass and titties and and good form Y'all not mad at that And like I said, I'm not taking off for Devin physique. Fuck him. I don't like his ass But what I'm saying is let's stop this brainwash shit because there's people who are on steroids Calling out people for Photoshop Motherfucker you are Photoshop if you're on steroids that that is a scam in itself if a motherfucker is on steroids and they say hey you want these results they're not necessarily saying you want to look like me then you have to use my meal plan but please believe it in your subconscious you're thinking damn he has a great physique that's why i want to buy from him that's why i want him to be my trainer that is how it works i'm a personal trainer motherfuckers see me walk around looking swole as fuck and they want to be swole as fuck they go yo you a personal trainer i said yeah i got a meal plan for you they automatically think that you have the knowledge of how to look how you look because you look that way so they want to pay you their money to look like you too. But when a motherfucker is on steroids, they think, okay, man, I wanna get shredded and jacked like that guy. Fucking, come on, man. My, I just said my favorite guy is Bradley Martin. Y'all think he, he's that fucking huge and lean year round? And y'all think he's natural? No, and that can be called a scam as well. Motherfucker, you can't make nobody look like that. You can't make nobody look like that. So that is a scam. I don't I don't necessarily not cuz I I know people who are on steroids. I know the truth behind steroids. Steroids just make you more of who you are. Like if you're a beast on off of steroids, you're going to be more of a beast on steroids. If you're just a big motherfucker off steroids, if you a big motherfucker off steroids, you a big motherfucker on steroids. If you a fat joker with no discipline off steroids, you're going to be a bigger version of that on steroids. Hey y'all, I got a phone call. I forgot what I was talking about. My energy was high though, so I'm about to keep it high, nigga. Um, steroids, that's what we was talking about. Your boy's smart. Anyway, all I'm saying, y'all, is that look, everything, nothing has changed in the fitness industry, right? And I just really wanna leave y'all with this. This shit is called brainwash. They, if y'all don't understand how your how your subconscious is affected by these fads that happen in the fitness industry all the time this drama this controversy this that the other these motherfuckers are getting paid ew I spit these motherfuckers are getting paid off of you and thinking this and that and and blah 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 bro everybody's getting paid from it everybody's getting paid from it okay and i just wanted to let y'all know that because Photoshop is no different, it's no more of a scam than steroids are. Okay? Motherfucker wanna look good so that he can sell product. Steroids, motherfucker wanna look good so that he can sell product. Okay? In both situations, they are unnatural results selling products. You can't look at a, a mass of natural people a mass of ma of natural people most of the fitness industry which is actually smaller than y'all think most of the fitness industry are just guys who want to be big and ripped girls who 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 just who just want to kind of lose weight and 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 do that okay that's most of that's 90 something percent of the fitness industry guys who are on steroids and doing serious shit that's a very small amount that's why rich Brianna calls them the five percenters like they're not a huge group of people bruh so when you get these guys who are blatantly on steroids who no if fans and butts about it are on steroids and they're saying hey this is how you need to work out this is what you need to do they're looking like the guys with all the knowledge because they're the guys with the best bodies that's how it goes, y'all. If you get a fitness trainer who ripped to the bone and a fitness trainer who just kind of, you know, kind of look good, you gonna go for the guy who's ripped to the bone. 
all right? If you look at a guy who's like me, you know what I'm saying? I got gains, bro. I've been working hard for six years in the gym. I'm only 22 years old. I've been fucking shit up in the gym. I'm not about to downplay myself at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty good for where I'm at in life. I'm trying to get better, but I'm anyway. I'm pretty good. Take a motherfucker who been training for four years and on a cycle for one year, he'll make me look like shit. All right? And if we are in the, in the same industry trying to sell meal plans and shit, he gonna sell more because his image is better. So which one is a scam? These motherfuckers out here calling people out for Photoshop? Your body is Photoshop. Motherfucker, you on steroids. And like I said, I'm not knocking people who are on steroids, but these motherfuckers who are on steroids can't call out motherfuckers for using Photoshop. And I'm done. Because I'm a happy ass nigga. And I don't usually get that mad. But that shit been pissing me off. It is an extreme form of mind control where one motherfucker who's doing the same thing in a different fashion is telling everybody that this other fashion is wrong so that they can sell more and so that their popularity can be higher even if this person doesn't understand that they're actively doing that that's exactly what they're doing okay so y'all need to y'all need to hold these motherfuckers accountable if you know they're not natural if a motherfucker weigh 250 pounds fucking eight percent body fat year round six to eight percent body fat year round they're most likely on steroids come on like let's stop let's stop pulling this let's keep this wool from over our eyes y'all y'all gotta come on with this shit photoshop is not as bad as steroids all right i'm not knocking people on steroids because i know people on steroids but like these guys who are on steroids who are on some heavy shit who look amazing they may have good genetics and all they may put in work and all but but y'all playing the same game both of y'all look good as fuck one's photoshop and maybe on steroids, and this guy is on steroids. Y'all playing the same game. Y'all, y'all both showing this mass amount of natural people how to get these bodies essentially, and you're selling them meal plans, and they'll never get that body. That's called a scam. That's called a scam. You're selling people something that they'll never get. You're selling hope. Okay. That's called a scam. People get mad at churches all the time for that same bullshit all right so i really hope this makes y'all think i really hope that y'all evaluate the entire situation before y'all say oh fuck this company fuck that company because all these companies all these personal trainers all these guys they're playing the same game all these all these fitness enthusiasts all these people who are right in your face as if the fitness industry belongs to them they're playing the same game. The, some of the game is, oh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all my fans. Y'all, you know, I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. I love y'all. Y'all love me. Da, 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 they make you feel cozy. Some of them are like hardcore. Da, 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 da. This is what you got to do. But at the end of the day, they all want the same goal. Motherfuckers talking about they not out here to make money. They out here to help people before they make money. You really, y'all, y'all think that's true? Y'all think that's true? Keep believing that. Yo, y'all, and last but not least, this is the point that I'm trying to make, right? And I know that, y'all, and I know that regular personal trainers and people who are trying to make it in this fitness industry natural are really going to relate to me, right? Y'all know when y'all watch my videos, this is me. This is my real personality, and I'm so fucking lucky that, I, that I'm a carefree guy and that I have a good enough life to be carefree and not hardcore all the time and make people laugh because that's my main thing. People be like, nigga, you funny. I didn't even know I was funny before I started getting in front of this camera, and people was like, nigga, you funny as hell. But I'm lucky, you know what I'm saying? People watch me for me, not my physique, even though my physique popping, homie. But here's what I, here's my main point I want to make about this. They calling it a scam. They're saying, oh, motherfucker photoshopping this, that, and the other, right? Well, when you get a guy who's like me, a natural guy who's a trainer, right? And I'm trying to make money, you know, by showing my natural physique. This is my marketing, walking around, being swole. This is my marketing, right? And somebody... Who's, to who's injecting drugs into their body into something that I can't do naturally. I have good genetics and I still can't look like people with mediocre genetics who are on steroids. You know, there's some people who are on steroids who still look like trash, but there's people with, with good genetics or people with mediocre genetics who put in work just like me, who add steroids into the occasion. Into the equation? Yeah, shit. Um, they look very good and they can sell more than me and and they're better trainers because they look better. 
it's it's unfair and that's what this whole thing is about oh that's unfair you can't do that you can't photoshop your pictures because that's not how you actually look well i could say the same thing about a guy who's on steroids you know what i'm saying i could say the same thing so what what are you what are these guys who are on steroids yelling about y'all can't call out somebody for photoshopping their pictures because you're also doing something that's unnatural you're also doing something that can nobody else really achieve naturally you know what i'm saying y'all endorsing products y'all saying drink this protein it's gonna make you big and swole like me y'all saying use this pre-workout use my pre-workout it's gonna give you a good workout like me and y'all not saying the like me part, but but in the subconscious of everybody who's listening, it's like, okay, I can do that like him if I buy his product. That's just how shit is sold. That's just how this world works. So if you really want to talk about a scam, you have to take an inner look, all right? Y'all, I mean, shit, I don't know. Like, if I'm on steroids, I would tell y'all. If I endorse a product, I would just tell you what the product does. But like, when you look around the fitness industry and these same guys who are calling out these shreds guys, are just as bad or they're just big of they're just as big of douchebags because they're basically doing the same thing in a different light and then they look over here at these shreds guys and be like oh these guys are scamming you because xyz now i do agree with them with the actual scam you want and you're not getting your money but but the other scam the 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 they bruh they making shirts that say adobe gains how are you making fun of somebody like that? That's like Kim Kardashian making fun of somebody's body. That bitch is photoshopped. Her booty is fake. And I'm not saying that these guys' biceps are fake, but what I am saying is see them two months steroids free and, 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 and say that they, are, they weren't edited walking around. That's all, that's my whole point. So y'all can't say these people are scamming when y'all doing the same fucking thing. But hey, as long as y'all remember, if you train good, eat good, and sleep good, that's a good ass life. Bye.